G'day guys, Glenn VK for NGA. So if you got one of these hotspots and you want to get it onto your home Wi-Fi network to uh, set it up to get into the PiStar dashboard and PiStar software, well this is the best way to do it. This has been running for about four to five minutes, so you got to let it run for probably a good four to five minutes on initial boot before you can complete this process so we come in here and you, this is Windows 10 but it works the same on every uh, Windows, Windows 7 on the other machine. What we're looking for is PyStar Setup. See it there? That's, um, that's what we've got to connect to so we connect to that so Connect. Takes a while. While we're waiting, new addition to the shack, FT nine nine one A. Just. Um, Sitting on uh, the local um, YSX node. So there you go. Okay, so we're connected. Um, so we open the browser. And we type in Pi Star. See it up there, Pi Star. Pi dash star, sorry, pi dash star dot local forward slash. Hit the enter button, and there's no mode defined, so that's a fresh uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 3.4, not Raspberry Pi, Pi star 3.4.17. That's a fresh install, and you'll see the sign in window comes up. So we type in there, pi. Trying to do this while I hold the camera still. Pi dash star. So we type in pi dash star and we type in the password raspberry R A S P B E double R Y. Sorry about the camera work, guys. Need to really get in improvement on that. Sign into that. Ask you to save the password. Yeah, why not? And there we are. We're uh, we're into the software. Nothing's configured. So the first thing you need to do is come down here and click on configure Wi-Fi. And for networks, I did click on that. And there's uh, the first one is the one that we want to select, so we select that and just type in your um, password for your home Wi-Fi. And click Save and Connect. Then, what we do then is we restart it. Now you can come up here and you can go into power. Sorry, <laughs> click on power and click on reboot. That'll uh, restart the Pi, the hotspot. So you get this message here.
Now it should be on the home Wi-Fi network now when it restarts. So what you got to do then is you got to come down here and make sure that you've yeah this is automatically reconnected on reboot to my home Wi-Fi, which is good, which is what we want. Otherwise, you got to connect your computer to your home Wi-Fi network because remember we were connected to the Raspberry Pi directly via the auto access point that comes up when you uh, fire it up. So it takes a while to recognize the um, okay. It takes a while to recognize the um, the Wi-Fi or the network. Here we go. It's recognized it. So we come into configuration and um, we'll just scroll and make sure that we're connected to the Wi-Fi. Yep, there we are. So we're connected to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so then you can uh, go ahead and set up the config. This is a fresh install, so the first thing I'm going to do on this is run update. Just to um, just to update the um, the uh, PyStarter software to the latest um, dashboard and the latest updates. Right guys, hope that helps you out. Um, if you're looking for a way to, um, there's another video that I've done which um, which shows you how to um, get into the uh, dashboard once you're um, once you're on your home Wi-Fi. But um, this video pretty much takes care of it anyway. So uh, hopefully that's helped you out. Seven three is all the best. VK4NGA.